me get all of them in my hand for a thumbnail. That would do some. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so this is pretty exciting. Just went to the pet store to get some random stuff. A dog comb and some mice. Looking at snakes and they got some... Is it a... They got some garter snakes, some northern garter snakes, for sale for 15 bucks. So I saw two in the tank, so I said, oh, let me get two. And then they open up the tank to pull them out, and there's two more in there. So I got four. Wait, come on, Bubba. Four northern garter snakes. Got four northern garter snakes. They're 15 bucks. I'm just assuming they're wild caught. I think these are the common the garter snakes that you would find out here. They're common garter snakes. So for $15. I was just assuming they're wild caught. And for $15, first thought was just to use them as feeders for the baby dry mark on. And then, I like, guess yeah, it's kind of cool. Maybe they'll just, I already have fish. Maybe I can just get them to eat and I have an extra tank. Might as well just put them on heat and I have an extra heat mat. You know what I mean? Have the extra space. I have a tank sitting here with nothing in it that's just in the way. So I might as well put something in it. So, if they last and they make it and they do great for me, then awesome. If they die and they go in the freezer, and they become a snack. Either way, I'm gonna enjoy having them, and uh, you guys are gonna see me set them up. So, first step is a tank. This one is a foot by two feet, 13 inches. Kind of a weird size, a foot by two feet by 13 inches. Step two, got a log. Originally, this log was gonna be for the albino rattlesnake. I put a log, in the regular Western Diamondback, and then I did not put a log in the Albina. I don't know, just to see how it is getting in and out working with them. I prefer to have one with one, one without one. So, the garter snakes get this nice fancy log that I got at the Reptile Expo. Which looks amazing in there, wow! So, next step, this is a little skull from a fish tank. But the fish caught pneumonia. And they died, so I clean this off. The water's gonna go over there. So I'm gonna put this one. Got a water bowl that's gonna go over. Let's not break the tank. Ooh, got a tree though. Will this tree work? I'm feeling the tree's gonna get knocked over. It's kinda cool. Let's see how long this lasts. Plant over here. This is all just fish tank plants that are extra from a fish tank. Like I said, fish caught pneumonia and they died. And that's how the story goes. Look at that, that's nice. Definitely the coolest tank, other than the Beard Dragon. Weird how the garden snakes get the fancy tank. Because there's four of them. This one can go. Let's put some water in the water bowl real quick. Change of plans. Before I put the water in, I got lice spray. Yeah, bug spray, mite spray. This is just basically if they have mites or any kind of moving creepy crawly on outside of their skin, this will get rid of that. So I held it up for how long. <laughs> yeah, so you should, you should fucking know what it is by now. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna get rid of mites. It'll soak into the bedding and the, the objects and everything and get into the snake, so it lasts for a bit. We'll give it one spray and then uh, just wait 24 hours, put the water in. 
and then you should be good to go. And the voila! So yeah, I've never had garter snakes before. This is pretty cool. Uh, it was definitely a random buy, but for fifteen dollars, it was worth it for a feeder. So it's worth it to try and keep them, and then if they make it, I don't plan on medicating them. I don't even know if they're wild caught. They could be captive bred. Who knows? I didn't ask. They originally were gonna be food and I have extra stuff, so might as well enjoy it for now. And yeah, if they make it, they make it. If they turn huge and one day I need to get rid of some snakes, and look at that, dry mark on food. So let's show you guys. I haven't even seen some snakes yet. We got four snakes. Oh yeah, super cool. They're all roughly the same size. He's definitely my favorite, just because he's the biggest. But they look too... Not beat up, but... Because they don't have any scars or anything like that, but... I don't know, I'm not too familiar with uh, garter, snakes. garter snakes, so maybe this is just how they are. But they don't have that clean, that clean captive look, I feel like. I feel like you can tell when wild snakes, they just have that certain look to them. Soldier stop, mama. I'm just kind of looking if I can see any mites on them. Or... They're all wet because I soaked them. And they had gone to the bathroom in there, so I pulled them out and then put a little bit of water in here just to try and clean them off. see any mites I don't even see any like any scars or any gashes or anything like that I mean they seem they just don't have that that clean captive like brightness that contrast color which not every snake does but these just look like you went out to a field flipped a log and you saw this and it's like oh look I'm pretty confident they'll eat I got the right fish for it let me get all of them in my hand for a thumbnail Oh. All right, so let's put them in one by one. It's gonna stick to them with coconut fiber. It's gonna stick to them for now, but it'll come off. So like I said, I never kept these. This is just spur of the moment. I like the price, I like the snake. Really what got it, what did it for me was that one big one. He was one of the ones that you could see. And I really liked him. I know they'll grow into it, but it's just the point of seeing him just a little bit bigger. Yeah, pretty sick, dude. Four garter snakes, so that's the tank setup. I'll get the water in there. Um, tomorrow, once that uh, mite spray stuff is done. So, I got a heat mat up here, already ready to go. So, I'm gonna set it right on top of here. And it's a good size. 